Susan Smith has been arrested and will be charged with two counts of murder. In the early hours of October 25, 1994, the small town of Union, South Carolina awoke to a nightmare that would forever alter its sense of security. Susan Smith, a 23-year-old mother, frantically called 911 to report that her car had been stolen, with her two young sons, Michael and Alex, still inside. Panic spread like wildfire as law enforcement and the community mobilized in a desperate search for the missing boys. As the search intensified, media coverage expanded nationwide, and the nation held its breath, hoping for a miraculous reunion between Susan and her children. Vigils were held, and volunteers scoured the area for any sign of the boys or Susan's car. But as the days turned into weeks, hope began to give way to unease, especially as investigators discovered inconsistencies in Susan's account of events. The investigation's focus soon shifted from finding the alleged carjacker to scrutinizing Susan's own actions. Surveillance footage from a local business revealed that Susan's car had been driven to a nearby lake on the night of the supposed abduction. Dive teams were dispatched to the lake, and on November 3, 1994, their worst fears were confirmed when the car was located underwater, with the lifeless bodies of three-year-old Michael and one-year-old Alex still strapped into their car seats. The revelation of this chilling truth sent shockwaves through the community and the nation. The public struggled to comprehend how a mother could intentionally harm her own children. As the evidence against her mounted, Susan Smith's facade began to crumble. On November 18, 1994, she was arrested and charged with two counts of murder. As the case unfolded in court, a clearer picture emerged of Susan's troubled personal life, she was in the midst of a tumultuous separation from her husband, David Smith, and was romantically involved with a local man, Tom Findlay. It was revealed that Susan's actions were driven by a desire to be free of the responsibilities of motherhood, as she believed her relationships were being hindered by her role as a parent. In July 1995, Susan Smith's trial reached its conclusion. Her defense attorneys argued that she had experienced a series of traumatic events and had been struggling with mental health issues, including depression and suicidal thoughts. Despite this, the jury found her guilty of two counts of murder. On July 27, 1995, she was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. The Susan Smith case stands as a chilling reminder of the depths of human depravity and the tragic consequences of unchecked emotional turmoil. The town of Union, once a peaceful community, was forever scarred by the events of that fateful October in 1994. The legacy of Michael and Alex Smith lives on as a reminder of the fragility of innocence and the responsibility society holds in protecting those who cannot protect themselves.